Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Card Shark, the game where you learn a wide array of card tricks and use them to scam people out of money. Who doesn't like money? Who isn't like scamming? Going to the gambling house, or possibly returning here. Plays with a minimum bet of 270 coin. What in the ass? So today we're gonna scam some extremely rich people. This should be fun. Eugene, I can tell by the look on your face that something is wrong. You don't think it's a good idea to go back to burn? Well, how else are we going to get revenge on Law, the other card cheater? And don't worry, we're not going as ourselves this time. We'd never get in. I can make a very convincing duke. Do you have your fan? And this again? Good thing I never part with mine. I will introduce you as my niece, uh, Graciela. Like in Ludwigsburg, you will keep me informed of our opponent's cards. But this time, you'll also use Twin Deck Stack to arrange the deck. You'll make Law think luck is on his side, before I exploit his confidence and crush him like the cockroach he is. So, peek in my opponent's hand while pr pretending to admire my own reflection. You're already familiar with the individual steps, so let's see how you fare playing it in sequence without my guidance. First thing you gotta do, you gotta actually find their hand. Here's a hand. Three hearts is his best suit, so you open this to the hearts and then fan three times. Classic signal. Stage one complete, but something's wrong, lad. My cup is empty. Of course it is. So it'll slip us the deck. And then I've got to go to the back room and give him a card. And he also wants me to give a rich opponent two kings to make him cocky against his two aces. Of course, pocket kings always get stacked by pocket aces. So I've got to look for a king first, follow it up with an ace, and then some garbage card, then another king, another ace, and then a garbage card. 2-9, not even suited. And let's examine the stack. Excellent aces for me and kings for my opponent. Psychological warfare at its finest. We need a second carriage for all the gold we're about to win using this strategy. The mirror and the fan. Rest up. You'll need to be on your most dazzling form once we arrive. One hour later. Let me play. You have to let me play. No, sir. You are not allowed at the table. I have to recoup my losses. No, you will not play. This is a respectable establishment. Yes, I saw. As the young man from the inn. We talking about like episode one territory? Don't worry. He didn't recognize us. We can still pull this off. Follow my lead. Madame, bonjour. <laughs> Welcome to my humble establishment. Salutations. I'm the Duke of Passagrain, and this is my young niece, the Marquess. Hello, madam. The poor lamb is frightened by the perfume of vice that pervades gambling houses. Most enchanting scent. Rest assured, I would never accept. See, I told you so. This establishment is the model of moralistic righteousness. These young people, so unimaginative, so dry. Pray tell, should we play together? To show the beauty of the game to the fair lady. I'm the owner of this house, I don't play. Sir, you should always accommodate old aristocrats. They have their uses. Of course. Mr. Dean, you seem aimless. I'm dreaming. Could I join you? With great pl pleasure. Please have a seat. Ah, you're far too innocent to linger in this pit of despair. Have we met before? Your face seems familiar. You're a quiet one, I see. Would you like to accompany me in the garden while these gentlemen are playing? I cannot. Why? Why care for your smelly uncle? I heard that you can. Leave my niece in peace. Yeah, bro. Fuck off. Well, what could go wrong? Surely this won't go tits up. <laughs> Let's run it. It's gonna be tough, though, because I'm pretty bad at the whole makeup thing. Uh, down here somewhere. There we are. All right, three diamonds. Come on. Fan, fan, fan. All right, a little slow on that. But a nice win. Okay, I'm only gonna need to stack the deck once. That's good to know. If I must, may say so, this is quite the debacle. I've come back from far worse. And yet, Law, you are being trounced. Ha! Are you from the British colonies? I'm indeed a citizen of the Americas, but pray tell what betrayed my origin. The smell. Are these your famous last words? I smell vanilla, sea salt, and the bitter, bitter tinge of New York. You've been to New York. I have indeed. 
I was sent by Louis XV to provide assistance to the nascent independence movement. Thanks to people like you, the Americans are going to build a republic for the future. And thanks to people like you, the French are going to annoy the English for quite a while. Ha <laughs> ha, let's play another round to solidify our friendship. Stakes are getting high. Here, oh here it is. Three spades. I had to fan it four times to get three times, but hey, a win is a win. We haven't even needed to do the uh, deck stacking yet. I do feel a negligible amount of guilt. That was quite a rude defeat you just experienced. Dear, would you mind pouring me some wine and go get some more? Who knows how long we will stay for. Ah, I had to pick up the wine bottle, I see. Ah, I have the deck, just don't mess up the pour. That looks pretty good. And I'll go get some wine. Madame, let me fetch that wine for you. How about no? You are a cruel woman. Leave me to simmer with my pathetic attempts at seduction. This horny bastard. <laughs> Alright, so thankfully the order is good. Give him a king. Give my guy an ace. Random four. Thankfully they didn't do a whole switcheroo on me because at least this is what I practiced. Oh, I gotta find the other ace though. It's hard. And I can just give him like a three. Finalize it. Let's go. Nailed it. Uh, pretty scary on the susso meter though. It's gonna be cutting it close near the end of it. Unless, if I don't have to do the fanning thing again. I've never met a niece as charitable to his uncle as you are, my beauty. Oh god. What's he gonna do? He, he must have seen that. He must have. What do we have here? What is this? We have here a second deck of cards, very well arranged as you can see. I guess I could have brought them outside. Yeah, but who knows if that really would have changed anything anyway. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how scripted or if this was avoidable. It'd be cool if it was avoidable, that's for sure. Uh, and we have here... A sorry cheat. <laughs> uh... Oh, that's pretty bad. Yes! Dear Comte, I recognize you right away. My good doctor, your medicines set me on a dark path. I've lost everything because of you. Ouch! Maybe I could have said about high. I feel like because he recognizes right away, we wouldn't be able to get rid of him that easily. I can hear you think. It's deafening. Foolish. Yes, the biggest fool in the room. I deserve that punch. But also, I don't really want to talk about it. Now let me sleep, will ya? I've apparently been summoned to this area. Oh, it's just a new area. For some reason, I thought I was returning. There's a minimum bet of 40. I also didn't get to keep any of my winnings, because I got found out. No wonder it was too good to be true. Well, let's travel. 40's still a lot, though. We're now heading to the Chateau du uh, Marais in Gim... <laughs> Gim... Gim... I literally can't form this pronunciation with my mouth. It just doesn't work. It's not possible for me to make this noise. I expect we'll find a way to get to Versailles from there. Now I must warn you, it is a surprising place. It's... What is happening outside? We're not on the road anymore. The horses are bolting. Quick jump. Oh, no. Oh, finally. Not these assholes. You made a fool of me. Now you'll pay your debt with your... Wow. Don't you think about running. Hands up. I will deal with you first. Any final words? Slap him. Do you wish to duel? Give me one good reason to do that. Justice. I don't think so. Chance. You want a chance to live? You just gave me a brilliant idea. Take a coin. Heads we duel. Tails I shoot you right away. So I want heads. That's tails. How do I... Heads. Nailed it. It was shrinking. So I couldn't delay. Oh, it's time to duel. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to do this. Well, seems it's your lucky day. 
take this gun? We're not sword dueling? Oh no. Now throw that coin again to see who's going to shoot first. Heads I shoot first, tails you do. So I want tails. Tails is good. <gasps> oh no, first time I've ever missed that. What, it counts? <laughs> Thank you? You know, I bet because it's outside the range, there's like a chance it could go either way. So like the sweet spot in the middle is, it, is like you're in control, but outside it's a coin flip. So lucky me. How is that possible? Uh... <laughs> oh, you cheater. Never mind. <laughs> you fool! I'm dying! He shot himself. Glad a good time to get away. You too, stop drooling in the background. Arrest this man. He tried to kill me. You shot yourself in the knee. You absolute buffoon. What? I've been arrested? I totally thought I'd get away with that. This must be me writing. Our hero is despairing in the gaul of Toulouse. Damn, should've ran faster. Surprised, he hears a whisper, a familiar voice. His good friend, Arenio, is hiding in the corner of the cell. Arenio! Poor lamb, your friend has left you in a dire situation. Colonel Gabriel is a drunk as well as a fool. He lacks the wit to have trapped you by chance. McGregor is behind this. In fact, he's entering the prison courtyard as we speak. I suggest we don't dwell here for too long. Really? Really. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> How? What is going on? Later that day, he made it back to the camp. And so do we. Irenio, did you find? I've got him. Hey. Eugene, I thought I'd lost you for a while. <laughs> Wait, is he angry with me? So very, very angry. You left him to hang. But it will pass. I see Irenio bribed the right guard. I'm glad you're safe. Your friend was quite the panic. It's becoming too dangerous for you to wander around with your gains in your pocket. Imagine if the Yalu had found your purse. You should consider leaving your, some of your coins here in the camp. We will protect it. Ah, of course, the donation. Which I now have learned has nothing to do with overthrowing the government, but just general good works. We were hoping for some generosity on your part, too. So I could donate a little bit. Throw him a cool 420 blaze it for a lot from our shared money pool. I mean, I'm gonna be broke after this, but I like keeping around some money because, you know, it was fun to play that 270 coin game even though I kept none of it. Thank you, this is very generous. This will help us open a school in Aquitaine. If the comp day is right, uh, France will change tremendously in the future. Our little fund will help a lot of people. Yeah, charity when it's actually charity is cool. It's just, I wasn't sure if they were like donating to a local dog fighting ring or something like that. I couldn't remember their cause. Anyway, time to actually go to our intended destination. Surely I won't get uh, jumped this time. With luck, we'll make it to a Val Saint Germain without interruption. Chateau de Maurice is what happens when you build, when a bunch of educated affluent youth attempt to build a utopia. Meaning? Meaning the experiment quickly turned into a never-ending orgy. Pick your jaw off the ground, lad. You need your wits about you if we're to win the sport of our host. I don't expect too much trouble. Our opponents will either be drunk or hungover. They won't notice bent cards, so the crooked card technique will be a solid foundation for our strategy. We'll also use this occasion to develop your dealing technique. But let's not go getting ahead of ourselves. Time for a quick jaunt through the crooked card technique. So bend high cards backwards and bend low cards forwards. And then I'll follow it up with sticky hands. Steal high card, place it on top of the deck. And then deal it out. And now we learn the second deal technique. Take a look at who you're dealing to first. We don't want to give the high top card to an opponent, do we? 
So now I deal on the second card from the top. If I'm quick, nobody will notice. Okay, so it's just a different deal. Another opponent hold that high card back again. And now deal the high card. Just a normal tap. You got this makings of a strong hand now. But oh, what's this? You can look at the next card in the deck. It's bent backwards. It's a high card. So now, deal that bent card to the appropriate player. So you do a cool second... Oh, second deal, second deal, and then regular deal. Another high card for me. Okay, so this is a low card. Now there's a few cards bent forwards in the deck. Continue dealing. Make sure you benefit me and disadvantage my opponents. So low card, regular deal. Uh, regular card? This is a high card? Ah! No, fuck. Forward bent. Yeah, 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 that was a low value. Yeah, don't give it to him. It's also a fast timer, so this is a... I'm glad I'm getting this practice in. Let's try putting it together with our other, other techniques. Take one of these. And then you gotta bend it high. Not my best drag. And then a low card will mark as low. So, something cool like this. And mark another queen. Oh, steal the queen. Right, I feel like my timing is a little bit off today. So the queen should be dealt to him. So this is to start, yeah? So, come on! Oh, come on! I was trying to do it! Hold on. I, I want to start over because... Uh, it didn't fucking read my inputs. Just... Yeah, let me reset. It fucking ate my inputs. Here we go. Queen, do the second deal. Second deal. Regular deal. I can do whatever here. None of these cards are really particularly messed up. This is a low card, I think. That's a high card. That's good. Uh, this deal's actually pretty easy. I mean, there's nothing great there. Because we didn't mark that many cards yet. Nicely done, lad. I gave him a high card, didn't give him a low card. And I took that dealing progression in your stride. Yeah, so the biggest thing for me is, one, getting the timing right. I have to wait until, like, the actual bar in front of the people's hands is showing up for me to do anything. And also, I gotta make sure I don't mix up high and low. And I think I'm ready to move on. Arrest. Sure. After you've completed your handwriting practice. We're not far off, lad. Now take my sherry. I advise you to take a good long glug of it. I have a feeling you'll need all the Dutch courage you can get. Anton, do you know what I desire? How could you desire anything after such a night of debauchery? I desire a sobering game of cards. Looks like we're lacking lucid players. I saw the young duchess disappear behind a bush a few hours ago. The ugly marquee is still attached to the tree. And the foolish Italian is snoring like a whale in the bathtub. The rest of the company is oblivious. Maybe we could be of service. <laughs> he recognizes him. That's incredible. Providential alchemist, cunning magician, Casanova. Uh, what a pleasure to see you again. Please, come and sit with your friend. Ah, <sighs> let the games begin. Time for a cool bet. So, puff out the queen. Lay it down. The suspicion bar moves kind of fast. But not overly so. Eh, it's a little faster than I'd hoped, to be honest. That's alright, steal a jack. Don't miss. Didn't miss. So get ready. Got a deal to the right guy. Here I go. So second deal. Second deal. Deal the jack. Do whatever. Do whatever. Do whatever. Do whatever. Just keep doing whatever, really. And yeah, no real consequences with these cards. I'm kind of blocking the deck. I messed that one up, though. Should have uh, second dealt that. So I think we're going to lose this because uh, I wasn't looking the best. And I... Missed, but it's alright. We lost around hustle him a little bit. What I what I realized was halfway through, I'm like, my face cam's blocking it, so it kind of set me off a bit. Alright, this time the face cam won't be blocking. Uh, Vienna was a mistake. Actually, the whole of Austria was a mistake. Right, time to win the money back. Can't lose this one. That would be truly awful. But yeah, look at the suspicion meter go. Look at that go. You gotta be fast here. This is fine. Steal an ace. Okay, plenty of time here. Got it. 
All right, don't mess this up. More bent cards. There's going to be a lot more to pay attention to. Second deal. Second deal. Give him the ace. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. That's a low card. I'll give myself the low card. Uh, save the high card. Give him the high card. Anything can happen. 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 It can all happen. Anything can happen at Disneyland. And winning the round, taking the money back. I've always found the taste of defeat curious. Not entirely disagreeable. A bit like whipping. <laughs> whipping? What a sweet ingenue you've brought to our table. Uh, this one's for all the marbles. <laughs> That's a big one. Nailed it. Make this small. I know I probably should just be saving the highest card, but as far as gameplay goes, it doesn't really make a difference. Because technically it'd be better off if I, was, if I was for sure saving him a king than a queen. But whatevs. All right, let's do this. Hardest one yet. Second deal, second deal, give him the queen. Do whatever, do whatever, do whatever, do whatever. Second deal, second deal, second deal, give him the high card. Give me the low card, anything. Second deal, give him the high card. Do anything, do anything, do anything, do anything, do anything. Things are looking good in the neighborhood. And it's not even close to suspicious. Too drunk, clearly. My friend, you've lost everything. Certainly not. I had the most exquisite time thanks to you. The perfect conclusion to a perfect week. And a good reminder that I need to go back to Paris. If only to beg money from the Pompadour. I was the king's favorite, floundering in Versailles as always. A gentle soul trapped in the swamp of court politics. Since you're going back to Paris, do you mind introducing us to uh, Madame de Pompadour? It would be my pleasure. She holds the salon every Thursday in Saint Wynne. Meet me there. Farewell, gentlemen. Well, to the salon I go. A minimum bet of 80. Assuming we actually get to keep this, that's the biggest one yet. Oh, it's just straight up a new chapter. We're approaching the end of our journey, lad. Imagine what the king will say when he meets his long-lost son. 